In recent years, the destruction of delicate marine ecosystems due to invasive species in the ballast water transported to habitats where they do not belong and other such marine environmental problems have become increasingly prevalent. We at JFE are here to provide a safer, more effective ballast water management system to prevent these environmental problems. JFE Ballast Ace. JFE Ballast Ace is made in Japan, so you know it's reliable. It supports vessels of all types and sizes. Our solution is filtration plus chemical treatment. JFE Ballast Ace features the three S's. Simple, sure and safe. Simple. JFE Ballast Ace is a system that injects formulated treatment chemicals directly into ballast water, eliminating the need for complex generating equipment. Its simple device configuration minimizes power consumption that also makes JFE Ballast Ace a more economical choice. Not only that, but with few drive parts, JFE Ballast Ace reduces the risk of mechanical failure, while also lowering maintenance costs. Sure. Because it's a system that injects formulated treatment chemicals, JFE Ballast Ace achieves efficient sterilization regardless of region or water quality, and also conforms with more stringent future regulations. Safe. The chemical that is used during ballasting is a common disinfectant called sodium hypochlorite. It is used to disinfect tap water, swimming pools and more. This disinfectant is available in two types, liquid and granular. The liquid disinfectant is best suited for use on ships traveling regular lines such as raw material transport ships, while the granular disinfectant, which can be stored for extended periods of time, is ideal for trampers or ships that spend little time in port for supply. The disinfectant can be replenished when the ship calls at port. The liquid disinfectant is replenished using a supply pump that transfers a disinfectant from drums into an onboard disinfectant storage tank. The granular disinfectant is simply carried into the ship's storage space. Now let's take a look at the treatment process during ballasting, step by step. The treatment process is remarkably simple. After larger particles of plankton have been removed by a filter, the remaining microorganisms and bacteria are sterilized with the disinfectant. First, a ballast water that has been sucked up by the ballast pump passes through the filter. The ballast water enters through the lower part of the filter and plankton larger than 50 micrometers is removed by the filter elements. The filter elements are automatically backwashed in order and trapped plankton larger than 50 micrometers is returned to its original water together with the backwash water. At the same time, other filter elements continue the treatment process. Next, the disinfectant is injected into the ballast water through the injector and the remaining microorganisms and bacteria are sterilized. Once the disinfectant has been injected, the ballast water is stirred and mixed by a mixing plate specifically designed by JFE for that purpose. Now let's take a look at the two methods of injecting the disinfectant. First we will look at the method for injecting the liquid disinfectant. The liquid disinfectant stored in the disinfectant storage tank is pumped by the chemical injection pump and transferred to the ballast line. The disinfectant storage tank is equipped with a chiller, a cooling unit that prevents deterioration. With the granular disinfectant, 
first a container of the granular disinfectant that is stored on board is loaded into the disinfectant supply unit. Next, the disinfectant is fed into the hopper of the disinfectant dissolution unit. The appropriate volume of disinfectant is automatically supplied from the hopper to be dissolved. After that, the dissolved disinfectant is transferred by the chemical injection pump. Whether liquid or granular, the volume of disinfectant to be injected is calculated automatically based on data from the TRO meter unit and the flow meter. Just before the disinfectant is injected into the ballast tank, the residual chlorine concentration level is automatically adjusted to 2.5 ppm. The entire treatment process is completed upon the conclusion of the ballasting operation. Moving on, let's now take a look at the treatment process during deballasting. A neutralizer solution is prepared in advance. First powdered neutralizer is inserted along with fresh water into the dissolution unit. After the neutralizer has been dissolved, it is transferred to a tank for storage. During deballasting, the appropriate volume of neutralizer is injected automatically. The residual chlorine concentration level of the ballast water is monitored by the TRO meter unit, ensuring that ballast water has been completely detoxified before it is discharged into the sea. You have now seen the entire process behind this safe and effective ballast water management system. Furthermore, JFE has an extensive chemical supply network with bases in key ports around the world to ensure a steady and reliable supply. In addition, JFE also provides ballast ACE systems that are suitable for pure car carriers, container ships, chemical tankers, small handy size carriers and other ships with small ballast pump capacity. Ready-made ballast ACE systems our ready-made ballast day systems feature simplified control specifications and one-size-fits-all package device designs to achieve low cost and speedy delivery. JFE Ballast Ace is a simple and economical system that not only achieves highly reliable ballast water treatment while reducing the risk of mechanical failure as well as maintenance costs but also helps to ensure the safety of your ship's crew. Designed in pursuit of true advantage for our customers. JFE Ballast Ace.